Hi second graders, it's Miss Montevago here. I am so excited to do today's STEM project with you. My inspiration came from an experience I had when I was younger. In eighth grade, I went with my Spanish class to Costa Rica and we got to go on a zip line across the whole rainforest and it was so cool. So today I thought it'd be really fun if we could make our own zip line. Obviously not a big one for ourselves, but a smaller one would do. So if you have a little bit of time, grab the materials and come join me to make your very own zip line. Before we get started, let's think, what is a zip line and how does it work? This is a great time to pause the video and write down your answer or share it with somebody next to you. A zip line is something that allows a person to slide down a wire or a rope. Are you ready for the challenge? I challenge you to build a zip line that will carry an egg down a rope without the egg breaking. For this activity, we're going to follow five steps. The first step is to gather some materials that we think we may use. Then we're going to brainstorm an idea, build, test, and reflect on that design. Step one, gather your materials. You can use any type of materials you want, just make sure you get your parents' permission first. For my design, I decided to use tape, scissors, a pencil, a piece of cardstock, and dental floss. I used dental floss because I didn't have any yarn or rope, otherwise I probably would have used that. Also, make sure you get an egg to test with, but make sure it's a hard-boiled egg. You don't want to use a regular egg because this might happen when you test your design and I know your parents will not be happy. Step 2. Let's brainstorm a design. This is really important to make sure that you have an idea of what you're doing before you start building. Step 3. Now it's time to build. You don't have to do my design, but I thought I would share it with you anyways. So for my design, I took a piece of cardstock and I rolled it up. What I'm thinking is making a basket to put my egg in and that it will slide down the dental floss. So for this is I rolled it and then now I'm securing it with tape. I don't need my basket to be that long, so I am cutting it. After I cut it down to the perfect size that I wanted, I took some more tape and I just secured those loose ends. Now I'm going to take that same piece of cardstock and I'm going to use my basket to help me trace the bottom. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. Double check that it fits, perfect. And then I'm going to take tape and secure it. This is going to be the bottom of my basket. I did have to use quite a bit of tape because I really want to make sure that my egg does not fall out the bottom. Now I'm cutting another piece of paper to make a handle because I need my basket to be able to slide down the zip line. And I'm going to be using the dental floss as my zip line rope. So just securing both sides to make sure that it's nice and secure with the tape. Now I'm going to take my egg and just double check that it's nice and sturdy and that my egg does not fall out the bottom. Now it's time to test our design. So your zip line should be at an incline. So I took my chair and then attached the dental floss to my fireplace with tape. Now it's time to test. Woohoo! Final result. My egg did not break. 
Now if you have some time, you should do the last step, which is reflecting. How did your design work? Did your egg break? Would you do anything differently? I hope you had so much fun with today's STEM project. Bye!